Hi subscribers and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dominic James Murray, CEO, IFA and founder here at Cameron James. Okay, so today we're going to be discussing defined benefit pension plans. What is a defined benefit pension plan? What transfer advice do you need? And who exactly is a pension transfer specialist? If you're already in the process of looking or considering to transfer your pension, you can book in via the description below for a free initial consultation via the Calendly link. You can select the day and the time that is most suitable for you and it will go directly um, into my agenda. You can also reach out via the website or via the WhatsApp button below for a more informal opening. If you have to, wish to have a quick chat, send me a voice note exchange some messages before we potentially look to book you in um, for a full um, initial appointment. Okay, so if you found this video, it's more than likely you have a defined benefit scheme. However, for those of you who might not understand, a defined benefit pension plan is an older type of UK scheme, which was typically provided back in the day as more of a benefit for employees if staying with the same employer over a prolonged period of time. Obviously, the world has kind of moved on a little bit by then, and also defined benefit schemes are far too expensive for employers to maintain. So a defined benefit pension plan, uh, effectively what it means is at the end of your employment with that company, your final salary or final salary, DB, defined benefit are all interchangeable here. Your final salary will be based on your final salary when you left the scheme, uh, how many years um, you were in that position or worked at the company, plus the accrual rate, which will typically be 1 60th or 1 80th. There's a number of additional black box calculations, um, including guilt rates, um, interest rates, um, and many other factors alongside the scheme, which will decide what level of retirement income they will give you per annum, or what you could exchange that retirement income for as a cash equivalent transfer value, or a CETV, which would allow you to transfer away from your defined benefit plan into a SIP or a defined contribution plan, or possibly even a QROPS, um, uh, if that's a requirement for you. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of a background as to what a defined benefit um, uh, plan is. It's very important to realize and caveat, a defined benefit pension plan is very different to a defined contribution scheme. You may well have an older defined benefit pension plan from one of your previous employers, 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. It's more than likely that any new employers or maybe your same employer has finished that pension and now you're inside a defined contribution scheme. Inside a defined contribution scheme, the only value you that you have is the contributions you and your employer make plus growth minus charges equals the value of that pension of what you will get at retirement. It will fluctuate over the course of time up and down uh, with market returns. A defined benefit pension plan is extremely different. It is a guaranteed income for life, which will typically be revalued and indexed and increased over the course of your retirement, depending upon the factors inside your defined uh, benefit plan. So what this means is defined benefit plans are far more valuable to individuals than defined contribution plans. It doesn't mean the money in a defined contribution plan is not valuable, of course it is, but it's only based on market returns. Inside the defined benefit plan, no matter what happens in the markets, no matter if we have crashes, financial crisis, etc., your plan will continue to increase in value um, because that's effectively the commitment which your employer made to you uh, right at the beginning. So a lot of people would ask, well, hang on, Dominic, defined contribution sounds rubbish compared to defined benefit. Why would I even consider transferring a defined benefit pension plan? Uh, we have many videos on the channel in relation to this, but just as a quick summary, some of the reasons people might want to take defined benefit pension transfer advice may be they think they can outperform uh, their DB scheme. If their DB scheme is offering them, say, base rate plus three or 4% growth per annum, some people might say, well, the S&P 500 has done 10% annualized return over the past 30 years. I think I could easily outperform uh, my fund. Other people might say, Dominic, I want to maximize my 25% PCLS from the age of 55 inside a SIP, as opposed to inside my defined benefit plan, where you never quite get the full 25%. I've actually spoken about this on another PSL, PCS, PCLS video, uh, which the team can run for you. Other areas might be that people are looking to pass on the assets to their named beneficiaries. Obviously, inside a defined benefit plan, 50% will pass on to your spouse at the point um, of your death. Obviously, if you have children, there's certain instances where the assets can also pass on to the children, typically if they're below 18 or 21 or still in full-time education, compared to a SIP, where obviously 100% of the asset or any other defined contribution scheme can be passed um, on to uh, your named beneficiaries who does not need to be your spouse um, and does not need to be your partner. It can be anyone um, that you define. Those are just three very basic reasons. So what does this mean in terms of the pension landscape now? So. 
Pension transfer advice for defined benefit pension schemes has become mandatory from the UK government since 2015. I remember when the legislation came out and we were all like, what is happening now? So effectively, your right to transfer your defined benefit pension scheme is somewhat removed from you or it's at an arm's distance. You now have to go through an authorized and regulated defined benefit pension transfer advice process in order to attain a suitability report as to whether you should transfer your pension or not. Now, whether you think that is ridiculous and the government made a good decision, a bad decision or an okay decision on that, it's kind of irrelevant. That's where we are now and we have to work with inside that framework. So you must take defined benefit pension transfer advice on any DB scheme which is over the value of £30,000. Any scheme below the value of £30,000, you can transfer it as per a defined contribution scheme. Normally, it's always best to do it with financial advice, but technically you could transfer um, uh, that scheme uh, yourself. So that brings us neatly onto the topic of defined benefit pension transfer specialists. What exactly is a specialist um, and why do you need one? So a pension transfer specialist is someone who has sat the relevant qualifications and exam to be a PTS, as we call it in the industry. Before that PTS exam, you actually need to have sat three previous exams, a minimum, in order to have the relevant qualifications. Um, I actually got one of the books here from the recent PTS exam, uh, which I sat. Uh, which is the workbook. As you can see here, it's a pretty dense topic um, and there's lots of stuff to be covered. Now, I personally quite enjoyed studying for the examination because a lot of the content for me, I already knew it because I'd already been focused in the industry and working on it for some time. However, there's only two PTS exams happen per year with the CSI, which is the body, CISI, the body that I studied with. And in, in my last examination, only 10 people sat that examination. Um, so obviously what that means is there's not that many people out there who are willing and dedicated enough to sacrifice their time, money, and energy to getting the relevant uh, qualifications. However, it's not just the qualification you need. With this qualification alone, I'm not allowed to give final salary pension transfer advice. Any PTS must also have the correct authorization from the FCA and be authorized to provide a DB final salary advice. This is something which is really important when you're focusing on a final salary pension transfer. If you're speaking with an advisor, ask them directly. Either A, are you a PTS yourself? And B, do you have the relevant authorization um, from the FCA to provide DB advice? Some people may say, yes, no, I am I'm not a PTS, but I do understand the system. I'll be introducing you to a PTS who is qualified. Other people like here at Cameron James, I am a qualified PTS, but we do not provide the authorized DB report ourselves. We believe you should always have a Chinese walls operation system whereby I'm not the one recommending you to transfer your pension. And I'm also the one who's potentially going to benefit from having a long-term relationship with you and having assets under management. At Cameron James, all of our PDB reports are written independently, but inside the company from a different member um, of the team to ensure that we have a little bit of a less conflict of interest in terms of advisors overstating the suitability of the client's report because possibly they might want to have the ongoing uh, management fees. So guys, I hope this has been a valuable video for you. It's a big topic at the moment. If you open up the FT Advisor and the Financial Times, you cannot get away from final salary or defined benefit pension transfer topics. If you have any questions at all, you want to reach out to us. If you're right at the start of your journey, you haven't even got your CETVs yet and you want us to attain everything for you. If you've already started getting your CETVs, you need to be aware that you only have a 12 week period or three months to um, attain those cash equipment transfer values. We need at least four weeks um, to submit everything to us and submit for your report. But obviously there's normally a week or two worth of work before that four week period uh, for your report to start. Or if you're completely new and you haven't done anything yet, get in touch below and we can find out the best option for you for your DB pension transfer option. Options. Guys, I hope this has been a valuable video for you. Please let me know your feedback, um, like and favorite the channel below and also subscribe to help grow the channel and let us know that our content to you is most valuable and that you would like to see uh, more of it. Thank you very much guys and speak to you soon.